So just to tell everybody a little bit about what's happening right now, we have three teams of people, about three or four people per team, that are going through one tree at a time. In some cases, we're weighing the tickets, if there's a lot of tickets. Also, we have one person that takes the stanchion with all the raffle tickets in it. We dump it into a bucket. They examine the bottom of it with a flashlight to make sure they get all the little tickets out. They stir up the bucket, reach in, and pick out three numbers. So we get three different tickets per tree, and we call the first ticket number that we choose out of the stanchion. The forms go into the conference room where we have another team of people that are looking up the numbers. So the numbers are all sequential, and we look to see who the number's assigned to, and then we call that person on the phone and we let them know that their number has been chosen and that they won that tree. We ask them if they'd like to accept the tree. If they don't answer the phone, they have one hour to call back and claim the tree. So we're going to do, be doing this for quite a little while while we go through and pick the winners for, pick a winner for each of the 150 trees. What we're doing this year is something new. So on, we're looking at the stanchions that are the most full and we're weighing them. And then we're going to see what which trees have the highest weight and the tree with the highest weight is going to be the people's choice tree. That so in other words that means that the tree the tickets that weigh the most had the most tickets in them which cool. were a favorite tree of the festival. So it's a people's choice. the team captains here. Wayne, it's who's on the third the team? Oh, Wayne. Sherry Desk and Bookcase Design and Creative by Desk and Spank Cabinetry Design. Joanne Cameron. Cameron. Joanne Cameron. Joanne Cameron. <laughs> who's got the... Who's, you got the... It's Kathy? Joanne. Do the honors of that? Okay. Let's tell Don't run away. Are you getting off that easy? <laughs> you got to pick great. So what happens now is we're going to go call Joanne Cameron. She answers the 
phone. If she doesn't, she has one hour to call back to claim the prize. And if she does not call us back in one hour, we're going to call the next person. So the next tree is Winter is Coming, donated by Michael's Harborside. It includes a $1,000 gift card toward wow. a private function at Michael's Harborside in Newburyport. I want to face the camera. You're on candid camera. And we have Donna Keeler, K E E L E R. Another Donna. <laughs> All right, so just so everybody knows, this tree was donated by Ron Tony Giordano, TC Giordano, and Chuck and Nancy Batol. It includes two Patriots versus Buffalo Bills tickets for Sunday, 12 24. Two Patriots versus New York Jets tickets for Sunday, December 31st. Two Celtics premium club seats versus Miami on Wednesday, December 20th. Two Celtics versus New York Knicks tickets. Two Red Sox versus Baltimore Orioles tickets. Two Red Sox versus Kansas City tickets. Six pairs of New England Revolution soccer tickets with reserved parking and 20 New England Patriots scratch tickets, and then all of the sports swag and items that are on the tree. So as you can see, this was a very full raffle post, very Freddie, full. we're gonna weigh this one. She's a good picker. Dig deep, dig deep, honey. All right. Michael Condon, no phone number, just MC. That's where it is. Is that it? Survey says, uh, Angel Hussey, H-U-S-S-E-Y. Uh, Looks like a 603-474 number. That would be Seabrook, New Hampshire, my best guess. Pick two more, but just don't read them. The Adamo family, three generations of daughters, Let's granddaughters, see and great granddaughters of Maria Adamo do this tree each year. This year, can I have you tell everybody a little bit about what you did? Not only yeah. did she oh. give the tree and the gift cards, uh, $1,000 in gift cards to TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Home Goods, Home Sense, Sierra, Sierra Nevada, Trading Post, Sierra Trading Post, Sierra Trading Post. Sierra Trading Post. The white one, but who gives? But yeah. there's also 12 days Freddy? of giving yes. that was gifts given to others. Oh. Very nice. Yes. So um, those of you who put the trees together know that the tree cost hey, you a fortune. Yeah. So this year we decided to oh, take what would be oh, our gosh. decorations and donate them donate them to different charities. So each day of the week, uh, we have given a different uh, donation to so so various charities. So, sitting back here watching. Fragile. Yes. Okay. So some of the charities that received the donation yeah. were Did they our neighbor's them? table, the YWCA, St. Paul's Church, Hurricane Maria Relief Fund, Oh, I did want to talk about Hurricane Maria because I do have a special thing on that one. Oh, yeah. Hurricane Maria Relief Fund. Okay. So that one, actually, we had someone at TJX who, on the day before Thanksgiving, they threw, uh, flew back their niece who had um, a daughter who was only seven weeks old. So that one I actually gave to that family. So it was $400 to give them to get them. So that was nice. Very nice. Let's see who won. All right. Hey, you ready? Yeah was a donation to Merriman Heights, the seventh day donation to the Jeannie Geiger Crisis Center. Eighth I'll love you forever. The Penn winner Hill is... Ninth day lunch and snacks for nine students from the performing project. The wait, tenth no. day wait, wait, wait. recycle, renew, and be used for charity. Two more. The eleventh day the Salvation Army and the twelfth day the United States Hospital. And the winner is Ann Dawley. That's a 978337 number. D A W L E Y. Okay, so the next tree is the gift of live music donated by Blue Ocean Music Hall. It includes three signed guitars by the Little River Band, Southside Johnny, and Winona Judd. Signed CDs by Brandy Carlisle, Todd Rundgren, and Herman's Hermits. And two tickets. A pair of tickets to three shows of your choice. All right, Allison. Come on, Allison. I'm counting on you. Pick Carrie. I didn't put any in that. There's no first name. El Morado. El Morado. And I have a few more tickets I haven't used yet. I'll give you. 
Big Crosby's white Christmas tree that was donated by Residential Mortgage huh? Services. Can we get away? Hooray! That is the company that Paul works for. And Donna. And Donna. Yeah, and Donna. Hooray! The brains and, and the beauty tree. of the company right there. Yeah. This tree wow. includes $1,000 in gift certificates to Simon Malls and also the TV with white Christmas playing on it behind Paul. Does it come with a mall? And the gorgeous tree that looks like white Christmas. Gets all the way. <laughs> Shake it, don't break it. Survey oh, says? I can't read it. Mary? Mary. Pekoski? 978-930 number. Is that what this says? Can you read that? Did you say Osinski? <laughs> <laughs> it looks like Mary Rukkowski. Yeah, you know. R-A-K-O-S-K-I. There we go. I know her. Mary Rukkowski. You do? You look like a Mary. She, I think she runs the National Art Honor Society at, at no High School. All right, so we have one more tree. Well, one more tree. tree. Very festive. So we have a rocket horse that represents one of the horses that will be on the carousel that <coughs> funds are being raised for, that the funds are being contributed to from the festival this year. It is the Salisbury Beach Partnership's Carousel Dreams. And so we're going to pull the winner for that. So all of the proceeds from Raffle ticket sales and admissions this year are going to the campaign to bring back the historic carousel to Salisbury Beach, known as the Broadway Flying Horses. Four five one four nine. Right, so the ticket number is four five one four nine. Feel lucky. All right, we'll find out who that winner is. You ready? Um, Pine Dining, huh? which was a table with four stools and uh, accessories. They, have, they won first place, 18,272 tickets. Second place went to Atlantic Ambulance and they did a money tree. There were 13,456 tickets in that tree. Next was Joe's Playland tree, which was some of our favorite things. Included gift cards to a lot of different established stores and establishments they have 13,141 tickets. Excellent. Wow. Top three. Really cool. Next one down after that was the Salisbury Beach Veterans Association. Yay. Hey. 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 What was it called? Uh, the, the uh, beach. Uh, it has the two Adirondack chairs. The two Adirondack chairs came in fourth. Nice. 10,981 tickets. I'm calling because you won a tree. This one is called yeah, Christmas well, Blessings. Um, it was by the Who's United Family. It's a really beautiful tree that was in the corner. Um, and it's Tomorrow, about, I think, seven, seven feet tall. Do you want to accept the tree? Okay, great. I'll the pickup day is tomorrow. Um, you can come anytime between 11 a.m. and 7 p.m. and get your tree. I'm calling to let you know you won a tree. And you want a great one. It's the one that was donated by 92.5 The River. It's called The Sounds of Boston, and it comes with a bunch of concert tickets. Oh, good. So I'm assuming that you're going to accept this tree. That's usually why we're calling. Excellent. So pick up it is tomorrow from 11 to 7, right where you came to look at the trees. Well, Sunday night, I was getting ready to go to work, and I found out that I had won. And at first I didn't recognize the number, and then I saw the voicemail and I went, I actually won? I bought it just to help you know, the good cause, but I didn't know I'd actually win or even have a chance. Which one did you win? This one, the RV there yet one. Oh, that's awesome. I thought it was the coolest one, and it apparently won the best under the tree display. I won the Bon Appetit picture um, uh, tree, and... My grandchildren are going to have fun with it. It's a musical tree. It's got like three guitars and some CDs and I guess some tickets. Good win. Yeah. I, there's, used, there's. I used to be a bass player back in the day. Ready? Long time. Uh, 
Oh, we won this uh, box and all table tree, three hundred dollars in gift certificates. Wow. Yeah, they said it was the most. Uh, what did they say? I had the most tickets. So you had the least odds of winning. Huh. And it's awesome. Yeah. To win for the first time. <laughs> now, have you been to the festival before? This is the yes. second year. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. And this is beautiful. It is. Already for you. This one, I don't want it. So I won the perfect event from Blue Ocean Event Center Tree. And I'm local, so it was easy to hear about the event. And I'm thrilled. It's actually a cordial cart with a dessert tray on top of it. And it's just beautiful, and the wreath comes with it. And I'm very, very happy. My girlfriend wanted for her two great nieces. Yeah. One for each. Which ones did you win? Get this one, the creative crafty, and I have no idea about the other one. Well, congratulations. Yeah, so. Yeah, she's pretty. It helps for the holidays. Yeah. yeah. It's a cool event. It is, it is. I've been coming every. I think I missed one year since I've, I've been living up here about four years now, so. No, this is it. Yeah. Right here. Have you come to this event before? No. This was my first time. That's great. That um, I was in, um, I actually, I don't know if you're running, I actually told them a story of, about it. Yeah. Um, that, uh, do you want me to tell you? Sure. Or, um, several years ago, I lost my husband. Yeah. And Christmas was just not doing it for me. Mm. Um, and when I came here, this was like an enchanted, magical place. And my husband and I, we used to love Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, and we would play that in the morning. And when I was walking through this place, I was so happy. And then when I stopped here, and his little nose was shining, I just, I put all my tickets in this one, and I knew I was gonna win. I actually sat by the phone, I knew I was going to win, and I was just so happy. And now I'm excited about Christmas and I'm coming here every year. I won. What did you win? I won a tree. I won the uh, Let's Make a Difference tree. And it is the Department of Children and Families. Oh, nice. So it's a beautiful tree. Happy to have it. This is my fifth year coming here. So I've tried for five years to win a tree. But it can happen. <laughs> yes, yeah, so we're excited. We're excited about the event. And this is to uh, benefit that, bringing home the carousel horses to the beach, which yeah. is near and dear to my heart, so it's a good event. Um, we won the AJ Vinyl Tree. Our kids were really excited. My son really wanted the guitar lessons, so we are here to pick it up. And have you been to the event before? This was our first, first year. Time. Yeah. So when they called us, I was like, what? So we're very excited. We'll be back next year. I'm so excited that I won this Christmas, vintage Christmas and for Disney because I took my grandkids and my daughter for the first time in, in August and we went to Disney and they were so excited. They said they'll go back anytime, anywhere with anyone. I don't know if I was happy about that, but, but yeah, yeah, and I'm very excited to win. Is this the first time you've been to the event? Oh no, I've been for, I think it's four years now I've been. Three, three four years. I know for three, but I'm sure, I think it's for four as well. You, but do, you lo do you live local? I live in Haverhill, Mass. Oh, okay. But we come every year, it's fun. And my grandkids, I come two days actually. Who cares about the price? My grandkids, I go skating and all that. It's a fun event for them. It's a very fun event. This is the Mackenzie tree. And my niece's name is Mackenzie. 
So my mother put the ticket in. Not that she gets the tree, we get to keep the tree, but she'll get to visit it. And Mackenzie was very excited when she found out that we won it. That's fun. Yeah. Very cool. Have you been to the event before? This is our, yeah, well this is our second year. Mary Martin's love for horses. Oh. And there was all these, look at this, this is absolutely gorgeous. Um, pretty. Isn't that pretty? Oh, look at that. So they, my granddaughter and her friend, just that afternoon, were making little saddles and, and things for horses. They were having a great time. They're going to have a better time now. <laughs> so have you, have you been to the event before? First time. I wanted to go last year, and I thought it was totally in December, and found out it started in November. So. Yeah, no, I'm glad we came. It was great. I won the Winnicott Student Government Christmas tree. So it had all kinds of blue, silver, and white ornaments, a couple of t-shirts for Winnicott, and some hats. So we're excited. I'm a former Winnicott alumni, so it works out nicely. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> Have you been to the event before? I go every year, so uh, this is the first year I won one, though, so I'm really excited. <laughs> I won this fabulous tree. It's just spectacular. I love buffalo plaid. And what made you enter it? What made you enter your ticket for it? I just, it's gorgeous. It's traditional, and it's just beautiful. Have you been to the event before? Nope, first time ever. One of my friends and I, and we will be back. We work for the bank, yep. maintenance department, and we uh, come up with this plan to make this tree. Yeah, we have a group of us at work. We have a, a tree building committee actually at the, at the Newport Five, and we all get together and collaborate this idea, and we came up with this. Um, so we decided to build a reindeer for it in, my, in his garage. Kind of made it up as we went along with a chainsaw and some scraps of wood from the from the woods. <laughs> A friend of mine has some firewood, so um, I asked him permission, and we donated some firewood from from Mike. And uh, yeah, it's um. The girls out in the really, bank really well. got the wine to go with the firewood night. Oh, and the girls had a blast shopping for all these ornaments. They had so much fun shopping for these ornaments, the pillows, the gift wrap, the presents, and everything. Oh, yeah. We probably had ten fun. of us here working for It was a fun project. Us. Can't wait till next year. Very good. We won the world of Dr. Seuss. Uh, upside down tree. Pretty and did you, cool. Were you uh, you obviously put a ticket in to win that? We did. Yes. Yep. What what was what, what did you find cool about it? Well, upside down. It's really awesome. All the cool like art on there, and you know, it really looked like a lot of handmade ornaments, all all neat stuff. Have and you, then you know, all the Dr. Seuss memorabilia. So. Have you been to the event before? No, first time. And you must be coming back next year. Absolutely. Right? Yeah, you got to try again. <laughs>